it, it makes me wonder how the jury looks at this guy and and sees this 10 hours play out in front of them. I look at a case like this and I kind of say, well, how can I have presented the case differently? And I'm thinking, I don't know, does the jury want to see 10 hours straight of this interrogation? Do they need to see that to get the feel for how this played out? Or do I break it up? I know we have the officer on the stand to establish the foundation for the interrogation, but I'm always thinking about the presentation. Is there a better way to do it, or or is this, this really just kind of have to suck it up and play it out? There's oh the first thing you have to do when you present any evidence is to make sure you um, make things as easy for the listener. And ten hours is a long time. I would have one one hundred percent broken it up. And he there's so much there that you could use. You could even even. Two hours would have been a lot, I think. He's just, especially when he's making these motions about shooting people and he's looking down and then he, he, there's, you, you could just point out, listen, he's saying this stuff and no one is leading him. No one's leading him to make these these confessions or, or, or these or playing these things out. Like these are things clearly from his memory. You sit there, you play 10, 15 minutes of it and then you move on. Yeah, I, I really think uh, I start looking at a case like this uh, as an FBI profiler might, you know, because it's so fascinating. This is a guy, family, kids, Border Patrol agent. He must have come off to virtually everybody as pretty good.